A robot without any motors wouldn't be much fun. By the end of this video, you'll see how to use a motor controller to control motors in your Arduino project. I'm Danny and this is Orion Robots. Let's see how to build robots. If you plug DC motors like these directly into your Arduino or Pi, at best it won't work. And the worst is, it'll destroy the microcontroller. Not good. To help channel power into motors, we use one of these, a motor controller. It has a power input, two motor outputs, and control or signal inputs. Okay, so this is how we wire one. First we have the parts, the Arduino here, the motor controller here. Two motors and power for the motors. Each of the motors goes to the motor outputs on the motor controller. These are sometimes labelled M1 and M2. The power goes in here, and I know this says 12 volts, but actually on other boards it's marked V in, and it'll take anything from 6 volts up to, well, something pretty big, depending on how you want to power these motors. 6 volts is perfect because these motors are good for 6 volts. We take another GND out to the Arduino, and the motor board and Arduino must share a GND for signal to get through. We can have power out to the Arduino if we wanted the robot to run independently, or if we've got it plugged in via USB, we probably just need the ground. Finally, these four connections are from the motor board control pins to the Arduino pins here. The squiggly lines on these Arduino pins means that they can do PWM control, useful for motor speeds. You're going to need a screwdriver to get these terminals in, but other than that, you really shouldn't need any other tools. Okay, we're wired up. Let's make something. Here is the Arduino IDE. Let's start by naming some pins and making them outputs. M1AB, M2AB with the pin numbers and we made them outputs. Then we'll need a loop. Uh, in the loop we'll turn motor 1 on for half a second. And then we'll make it go the other way. Now notice here I've written M1A which is equivalent to IN1 to high and then B to low. And then after half a second, I've swapped them, so low and high. Uh, then we'll make motor A stop. Both zero make them stop. We can also do the same with uh, motor 2. So if we take just this section here and we copy and paste it, we can change our put a gap in there. And we'll change our M1s for M2s. And now it'll do motor one goes forward and backwards and then motor two goes forward and backwards and that will be the loop so let's connect to our board and send it and oh, it works so the next step here will be to look at pwm pulse width modulation so we can control these motors at different speeds and we can cover that in a follow-up video I think I'm going to stop this for now. I'm just going to pull the power out. Thanks for watching, and hopefully, you have the basics for starting to connect motors to your project. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Go make stuff and be awesome!